Hello everyone, this is me Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to knit this twist headband using 48-pin central knitting machine. I hope you subscribe for more videos. For this project, we're going to need a yarn and I'm using this multicolored yarn that was given to me by Miss Rose of uh, Sedi Aki channel. I'll add the link in the description box if you'd like to subscribe to her channel. I'm not really sure what kind of yarn is this, pero medyo malambot siya at bagsak. So it feels like a premium yarn and I think it will make a nice stripe pag na knit mo siya sa central knitting machine. I'm gonna use this one and of course to make the headband, we need a waist yarn. So ito talagang waist siya from yung mga nabibili ko sa Japan surplus na meron mga excess na used na yarns. Kaya siya medyo curly so this is what I'm gonna use. Sa central knitting machine ay ilalagay natin ito. Eh, para at the end, mapapagdugtong natin yung pinaka dulo. So I'm gonna show you later on on how we are going to make the headband. So for the first five rows, I'm going to use the gray color for my waist yarn and I've used this before in my other headband projects and then of course the yarn should be under the first needle which is the white one and then over the next one and then also we have to reset the uh, counter make sure that the T is on for two knitting and then we're going to alternate under and over into each needle and we should end up with the needle over the last pin so it should be done alternately otherwise you have to repeat So the yarn should end up being over the last pin and after that we're going to insert the yarn into the tension ridge and then we're gonna do the loose tension so I'm going to insert it into the last hole and then I'm going to work five rows. So I'm going to show you again, this time much faster than before. So right now I am going to position the white needle in there. So I'm going to go under. So the yarn should be under the first needle and then over the next. And that should be the sequence until you get back.
So after kneading 5 rows of the waste yarn, I'm going to drop the yarn into the middle of this machine. And also this is my second filming and I dropped the yarn after the white needle, which is just okay, it doesn't matter. And then into the next pin, I'm going to insert the new color. So uh, it doesn't matter actually where you stop. If your waist yarn isn't enough to complete the five rows, you can just start anywhere. That's what I do with my projects whenever I make headbands, just to, you know, to not waste the yarn that I'm using. And then after that, I will keep on cranking until I get to the 80th row because that's what you need when you have a lightweight yarn and you only need 80 rows of um, this project to make the headband that would fit an adult size so take note of the yarn thickness because um, that is the, your basis on whether you need to work more or less So what I like about knitting is that you will only need less yarn compared to when you're crocheting. So that's great. And with the 50 gram of lightweight yarns that I'm using right now, I still have a few more left. So I can still use the leftover yarn for some other small projects. So what happens when you crank it the other way? So chances are that you might repeat it because you will get some drop stitches and I've done that many times and I have to repeat. So if you just want to repeat the process, all you need to do is to crank it the same direction. Make sure to remove the yarn into the tension bridge and to the tension holder. Put it in the middle and then you will see that the loops are going to be unhooked to each needle as you crack it the same direction. So I have knitted a couple of beanies using the variegated yarn and it turned out really great. And I'm going to show you on screen the hats that I've made. So it's different when you're making a headband because you need to add a few rows of waist yarn before and after finishing this row of uh, your project so it means you're going to add waist yarn before you start knitting this headband and after working 80 rows of the headband so I'm gonna add like three to five rows it doesn't matter you can do three if you want so others they only use three rows because later on after you unhook this into the knitting machine you will see what I mean because you're going to make a slip stitches to close off both ends of this project
Now, once you have 80 rows of the, this variegated yarn that you're going to make for the headband, then we're going to switch off to the last row, which is we're going to insert the waist yarn. And to do that, once you hit the end of the needle, which is the white one, I'm going to have it removed and I'm going to put it or drop it into the middle, making sure that you have about 6 to 10 or 12 inches allowance and then I'm going to insert the waist yarn so I'm going to insert it into the tension bridge and into the tension holder and then I'm gonna work five more rows of that So I'm using the uh, waist yarn and I think I only have about, I can only crank about three rows of the remaining waist yarn that I have. So I might stop at any point. I will just leave about a few inches allowance, which doesn't really matter for as long as the, the project that I'll be making on the stitches won't be dropped so that's the most important thing and then after that after dropping the waist yarn into the middle I will just crank it so that it will unhook all the loops into the pins and that's it so the last step would be we're going to close off both ends and I'll be showing you how to do that later on 